to remind all of you, maybe for the first time, you may discover that there's a difference between the earth and the world. Never confuse the two. There's nothing wrong with the earth. The earth is innocent. The earth is pure. The earth is God's original production. The Bible does not say, for God so loved the earth. It says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son into the world with a message. And he said, whoever believes that message will not perish, but shall experience an abundant life, not just in this life, but beyond the grave. The next verse says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Even the church, the Christian church, didn't understand this. God did not send his Son to deal with the earth. He sent his son to deal with the world. There's a difference. And he said, I didn't come to condemn the world, but to save the world. He didn't say he came to save the earth. There are many governments around the world who are having conferences discussing saving the earth. And they talk about environmental policy. They talk about anti-pollution policy, they talk about cleaning up the air, they talk about going green, and they're talking about the earth, but they're not talking about the world. And the problem on earth is not the earth. The problem on earth is the world. Let me explain the difference. There are two worlds on earth. First of all, in the book of Psalm, written by King David, and King David was not a religious man, he was a politician. He was a king. And King David said these words, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And then he shifts and he says, and the world also and they that dwell in it belongs to the Lord. David separates the earth from the world. The earth belongs to the Lord, he says. He owns it. But then he says, and the world also is the Lord's. And they that dwell in it. There is a big difference between the world and the earth. First of all, the word earth is important. It's the word tierra. This word is used in the Bible to describe the physical planet. The word tierra means the physical earth. Earth is always referring to the physical planet, the, the dirt and the mountains and the water and the oceans. And the earth is referred to uh, the, the hills and the valleys and, and the trees. That's, this is the earth. The earth is the physical planet that God created. But the world is different. The word world in the Bible is the word cosmos. It's a different word from the earth. The word cosmos is very important because when the Bible talks about the world, it uses the word cosmos, and it means, number one, governing systems. Number two, powers of authority. 
The word world also means controlling systems, the world. Fourthly, the word cosmos means systems of control. It also means the systems that influence life on the planet. The word world, therefore, is the banking system. It is the economic system. It is the political systems. It is the athletic systems and the medical systems and the social systems and the cultural systems. These are called the world. The earth is pure. It's the physical planet. But the world are the systems that affect the earth. You will never hear a tree cursing God. You'll never hear a dog or a cat curse God. But humans are amazing. God has no problem with roaches. He has no problem with rats. God has no problem with birds. His number one problem is with you. The systems that men control. So where does pollution come from? The earth never pollutes itself. Men pollute the earth. The earth will never withdraw its wealth from men. But men take the wealth of the earth and hoard it from others. The earth will never cause people to starve. But men will use their systems to withhold the bounty of the earth from people who are starving in order to keep prices high. There's nothing wrong with the earth. It is the system that controls the earth. It's called the world. Something went wrong with the world that was put on the earth. And the first world that was placed on the earth was called the kingdom of heaven. And Adam was in charge of that first system. And when Adam disobeyed his government in heaven, he declared independence from the kingdom and made the earth an independent colony. Then man became the rulers of earth without God. And Jesus saw that problem and he said these words, I am the light, not of the earth. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the system. The word light in Hebrew doesn't mean absence of illumination. The word light here means knowledge. The opposite of knowledge is ignorance. He's telling us that you are ruling the earth based on ignorance, and I have come to bring the original knowledge back to man. And this is why he said, without me, you can do nothing, because you are living in darkness, in ignorance. You're trying to manage the earth without God's knowledge. Earth was never created to be governed by earth. Earth was created to be governed through man from heaven. And therefore, Every country on earth needs information from another place. And that's why for God so loved the world, he didn't come to find someone on earth to fix it. He had to send someone from another place into the earth. Because the solution to earth is not on earth. He had to send someone from another country called heaven back into earth to restore earth and to bring light back to earth. In John chapter 8, verse 23, Jesus said, You are from below, but I am from above. You are from this world, he says, but I am not of this system. I want you to read the Bible again for the first time. Now you understand the statement, don't you? He's not talking about the earth. He says... 
You are from below. You are from earth. Your mind is on earthly things. He said, but I am not from below. I am from above. The question, can we fix the earth without heaven? 